Hey everyone, Nathan Nerdark here from Nerdarchy for Nerds by Nerds, and today we're going to be talking about uh, a mercenary company, guild company. That kind of a story you've come up yeah, with. Yeah, a story I came up with. I want to see what everyone thought about it. With me, I have... Dave. I'm Ryan. And I'm Ted. Um, before we get into the story about the mercenary company, I wanted to talk to you about the newsletter. Have, have you heard the good? Have you up? heard the good news about the newsletter? <laughs> yeah, go on and check it out. There's going to be a link in the description right at the top for your convenience. Uh, you can get cool things like PC tips, GM tips, and uh, ways to game with Nerdarchy, and other news just in general. Nice. All right, so I came up with this mercenary guild, uh, adventurers guild. I have never really made a mercenary adventurers guild before. I mean, we had like the Kraken, I think, right, and we had a few other things. Uh, like the yacht club, but uh, those are all villainous stuff. So I'm like talking about like a good guy, a good guy, good guy kind of thing. Heroic. And uh, they would have started off as like a small company, maybe even just an adventuring party. A ragtag band, perhaps. Yeah, perhaps well, a forgot, ragtag band. Forgotten Realms. They they really did introduce like this concept of uh, adventuring companies. Yeah. And Pathfinder Society also has like the Pathfinder Society is like the the group and you just look belong to different factions. Within. Yeah, they yeah. just totally swiped that from Forgotten Realms, yeah. which in that organized sense play. kind of time No, 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 it's not it has nothing to do with organized play. It was just a concept that was introduced into the game. Then yeah. they just reworked it. But it was kinda of actually taken from The Hobbit. Hmm. When the dwarves find Bilbo and make him sign a contract, mm -hmm. yeah, like the yeah, you know, the little the, the funeral company. expenses, are yeah, 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 yeah. So it's like that's eventually that's essentially like the first. You get a cut of the treasure and company. et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, so yeah, so it's a, it's an adventuring company. Uh, they made their name uh, by signing on to tasks that were were difficult but required like a small group of people rather than a, like a mercenary company like uh, Game, well, Game of Thrones they've got like the Second Sons which is basically like you hire them when you want an extra group of people for war which is not or Bregan the Arth yes. yeah <laughs> something yeah so that more like specialized uh, in the sense of they're all they're all uh, you know PC level powers rather than just like a whole bunch of guys swinging. So th you're talking about they're not like legions, they're like strike teams. like Yeah, more like a strike team. So yeah, you would commandos. say, but, and it could be something as simple as, you know, something they going Something a normal PC they group could. gets hired for. Oh, you know, take care of this bandit group for us. Or, you know, this per these group this group is messing up our supply lines for the war effort over in the next uh, the next yeah, kingdom over or whatever. There's, some, there's something going on out, out there in the forest, go investigate. Yeah, and uh, Rather than just be that type of, you know, sit on the line and fight, they would hagger and attack and nag the, the enemy, like, you know, bother them, harass, harass them, you know, things Guerrilla like fighting, basically. Yeah, guerrilla fighting. Tactics. So it's like, it started off as like a guerrilla fighting mercenary company. And we have um, uh, the idea of what they came about as is that they, they would, like, nag or bother or harass the enemy, and that's you know. Well, let's get the the naggers or the nag. So it's kind of this idea. Well, and the nag, it, it they kind of it was derogatory at first in a sense because a nag's not a really cool horse. It's yeah. like the junky horse. It's not the stallion. The, it's yeah, the, it's, a, it's like the farmer. You're like, well, you can have this old nag I've got in the barn. <laughs> I don't really need him anymore. I'll sell him to you. You know that kind of thing. It's like the the underdog in in a lot of ways. So. I thought that would be an interesting name for a ragtag group of, you know, starting off adventurers that uh, do these kind of jobs that no one really wants. Because guerrilla tactics, while they you get a lot of stuff done in the end, it's in probably glamorous. you're gonna, it's, yeah, it's in glamorous. You're not on the front line waving the banner and charging down the, you know, charging on on a horse down the down the way breaking the line. You're not doing anything heroic in front of thousands of people. You're off in the shadows doing something or you're off on the, the tail end making sure that the flank doesn't curl around. You know, those kind of like little tasks that uh, like a specialized team of, of powerful people like adventurers would would do. So now you, you had told told me the story that you had come up with, you know, the the first time that this happened there was a a wizard who was, you know, nefarious if you will, and he kept having, you know, his plans thwarted by this adventuring group. And like he kept saying like that these guys are constantly annoying him and, you know, he wanted to know like why they kept nagging on his plans. Yeah, and nagging. And, and the the head of this company or the head of this adventuring band, you know, thought that it was so amusing that he wanted to to take that 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 symbol and not not only you know 
take it, but like wear it like a shield, like a, mm -hmm. you know, uh, and blaze like it upon his chest. Yeah, to be like, you well, know, see, okay. thanks for remembering the actual true story <laughs> rather than the generic story I remember today. Yeah. <laughs> so I didn't so, write it down. And, and I think the first group could maybe have been to like people that were maybe a little past their prime, like people that might have just been like farmers and the stuff. The D squad. Beforehand. No, like, <laughs> yeah. like maybe like Not war. Not the A team or the B team yeah, or like, the C team. Well, like war could have um, come across their 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 their, uh, their villages and their, their and their towns and everything and. And so like they weren't the people to go off in the front lines and fight there was problems within and like there were the people left to deal with them you know and so like that also like that old sort of broken down theme could have been like their origins mm -hmm. of people that like you know they in in sort of a medieval fantasy uh place that they were people that could have been kind of on the decline like you know your 40s or whatever as if you're talking medieval time period that's yeah. middle age yeah i also yeah. remember you know when the stories were initially told to me by ted uh, With every retelling, it just gets a little different. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. a religious text. Yeah, right? that that like these guys were kind of like kind of like bums, and they're like, you know they're taking out the A squad villains, and, and and you know the same wizard was like like how could these guys possibly be thwarting my plans? These are these guys are like losers. Yeah. <laughs> this is embarrassing, really. It, it's like kind of like Guardians of the Galaxy. Like who are these assholes? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, it also too like I was thinking like maybe it could be um, for one kingdom or or another. It could almost be like a Night's Watch sort of thing. Where or like maybe like it could be uh, like you know you could also be kind of like uh, penalized to be there, be of service no, I, to the nag. I, I was thinking that like this was something that was gonna like be anywhere that that civilized you know lands, you know happen at least you know by by humans anyway that there would be like a seg a sect of of this company, mm -hmm. um, you know and you know part like of their original leader. Like, wasn't part of it, too, like, the original leader actually died, and, like, and to honor him, they came up with, because they called him the nag. Mm -hmm. Like, the villain called you know, called him the nag. And, right. then, like, he, you know, he, like, died throttling the plans of this wizard and finally taking him down or whatever. So, like, his followers gathered around his corpse and, you know, with full honors and put him down or whatever. Yeah, and they, and, they, they, and adopt. They, they took, they adopt the name of the nag. Yeah, and, and since then, they've, they've been trying to spread the company, not only, you know, to, to press people... You know, into you know service, but well, being I mean, better than they they think they are. Yeah, you know, because I mean, the Nag's made up of a whole bunch of people who are like misfits. Misfits. Right. Well, so like these are these are all the people that like. Uh, oh, who is it in Game of Thrones there's like this company that like it's like a, a group of men that's like they're under no banner and they basically just look out for the common uh, citizenry of oh, the, uh, the King son, Robert's men or something no, no no it's the sons of something yeah I'm trying um, to think of that but basically the idea is like they look to the needs of the common populace and like the the grand kingdoms and dukes can like worry about themselves yeah they work with the red priest yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah I, I know who you're talking about. The, the group yeah, you're talking about. I just the can't name think of the name. Yeah, yeah, because there's like Lem Lemon Cloak was was in that group, right? And yeah, am I remembering that group? I'm just not remembering the name of the. I know it. All right, so someone but, that someone will tell us in this. But, yeah, but anyway, somebody, you know, so yeah, we've got this this group that you know it doesn't have to be everywhere, but it can be trying to to spread because not only will the company be able to make more money, but they're going to be able to do, uh, you know, more good than, you know, and immortalize our founder. Absolutely. So. What what do we think? You know, is it a is it a cool idea for our campaign world? I'm into it. I would incorporate it, but the question is, would you guys join the Nag and and fight under that banner? Let us know in the comments below. Like, share, and subscribe. You can check us out over on Instagram. You can head over to nerdarchy.com and check out the articles there. Also check out the cool swag over at nerdarchy.com. So until next time, stay, stay nerdy. nerdy.